Hi everyone, a very good evening to all of you. Uh, so today we'll discuss about IGDR MSc Economics entrance exam pattern. Okay, so a lot of students have queries, especially uh, when the entrance is about to come, like whether there is a change in exam pattern or not, or does it still remains the same? What's the syllabus? What's the marking is like? Okay, so today in this uh, video lecture, we'll discuss all about that. Okay. So IGDR is one of those institutes which are predominantly known for their research work, okay? Many of the students at times, they want to seek career in research, okay? So IGDR is one of the best options for them if they are going for that direction rather than going for a corporate career or let's say for a teaching career, okay? And... The best part about IGDR is that it, it is fully funded by RBI, which is which is something of a statement when an institute is being backed by the central bank of a country, right? So this uh, this in itself speaks volume about what uh, IGDR as a as an institute means, what its value is, and when you go into the market with a tag of IGDR what all importance you will gain, right? Okay, so at IGDR, they offer you a two-year program in MSc Economics, okay? Uh, overall, uh, the course structure is very well designed to make sure that you have proper exposure for both in terms of analytical terms as well as problem solving as well, okay? Now, let's, let's go ahead and see what's the eligibility uh, at IGDR, right? Okay. For any student who wants to uh, give entrance, who wants to get admission at IGDR in order to pursue MSc economics, first of all, they have, uh, you can call it as mandatory or you can call it as one of the major filtering points wherein out of 100, many students will go out at the very first eligibility criteria, which is mathematics at higher and sec higher secondary or higher level. Okay, so basically they talk about you need to have maths in your plus two. Okay, that is something that they emphasis on, right? And next is when, with, from which uh, domain you come from in your undergrad, right? So like most of most of the interests nowadays, they are pretty much open for all the students coming from any stream, right? So it's no more, a uh, hard and fast rule that you need to have bachelor's degree in economics only, and then only you can go and sit for the exam, right? So now, in order to be eligible for admission at IGDR, you need to have bachelor's degree in B or BSc economics, but you can also have bachelor's degree in BCom, Stats, Physics, Maths, BTEC, and BES. So that is pretty much open for all the students who want to take a shift and want to have a career in economics and want to pursue masters in eco from IGDR. Okay. So let's let's go to the selection process. Okay. So there are there are usually whenever you go for any of the entrances, there are two modes. Okay. When I say two modes, first of all, one is that you need to give your entrance, and then based on the marks or the ranking, you get admission, right? The second mode is a two-tier mode wherein you need to give the entrance as well, but subsequently an interview is followed after that, okay? So over here, there is another layer of filtering that is being done by the institute, right? So first being math, second being the respective undergraduation courses, third being the entrance exam in itself, and fourth being the interview, okay? So this is the selection process, and yes, interview is there in case of IGDR exam, okay? Now, let's go and look at the exam pattern, which is the most important part, okay? So we actually waited till the last moment for the prospectus to come in, right? 
and the day it came uh, again honestly speaking they have been kind of playing with the pattern or changing the pattern every 3 years or 4 years right because uh, earlier there was 90 minutes paper now it's 180 minutes paper and even in 2013 and 2015 also there was similar change in terms of you can say a uh, number of questions being asked and the amount of time which is being given to you okay Overall, when you look at the pattern, like what all will come, that still remains intact. So there is no difference at all. And it has been there for years. Okay. In fact, they have removed the analytical part or the reasoning part, which was there earlier, or let's say a couple of years back. Right. So overall, in terms of how it is designed, it still remains the same. It's just the number of questions. But along with that, the amount of time, both have increased, okay? So now, instead of uh, like last year, you had 90 minutes, you have 180 minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and see how they have this year bifurcated the entire exam. So this year, the duration of the exam will be three hours, which is your 180 minutes. Number of questions would be 90. Uh, test type remains your same computer-based MCQ, okay? Now, uh, look, if you have gone through last year's or pre, uh, the before that as well, the pattern you must have already seen, right? So basically they give you, uh, give you test one, test two, test three, which is test three has two options. Okay, so let's first go first one by one. Test one is a comprehension in English, okay? So you can call it as predominantly, it's completely based on English, your ability to learn what all, is there in English, it's more or less will be comprehension questions, synonyms, antonyms. Uh, there would be uh, one word for a particular sentence, okay? And there can be uh, replacing a particular word, right? There can be incorrect spelling as well, okay? So because I'm telling you this because we have already included these questions in our IGDR mock test papers as well to make sure that what all possible questions can come from comprehension and English, we have tried to add all those questions, okay? So this is how it's, honestly speaking, it's one of the easiest sections which you can cover and score maximum mark as well, okay? So uh, because, again, the other part being test two and test three, eight, 3B, which is your more or less uh, maths and economics driven, right? So over here in test one, you can maximize your opportunity and try to score as many marks as possible because there is nothing like e, your test one score won't be considered, only test two, test three would be considered. There's nothing like that. Overall marks would be considered. And in order to have a maximum numbers and have an edge of over others, then it's better that you score maximum marks possible in test one, okay? Then is your basic mathematics, okay? So by, by the name itself, it's generally very basic mathematics. Very, If you just want to cross-check these things, they have provided a sample paper, okay? We will also just pin it in the comment section in our uh, this video so that you can directly go and download that sample paper and practice that. Over there, they have given you two sets. Two sets to practice basic mathematics as well, and two sets to practice economics and advanced mathematics as well. So that will give you a clear picture that what kind of questions they expect in basic mathematics, in economics, and advanced mathematics as well, okay? Okay, so test two is your basic mathematics like we discussed, then test three. So when you come to test three, okay, there you have two options and you have to go for either of the two, right? So you can go for economics or you can go for ma advanced mathematics, okay? So some of the students, uh, uh, they, they are more comfortable, I would rather put it that way, that they are more comfortable in economics, then they will go for economics, which is test 3A and try to avoid advanced mathematics. And that is honestly fair enough uh, stance as well, right? There is, uh, there is nothing wrong in going for economics and doubting yourself in advanced mathematics. Like 
at the end of the day, in whichever subject, whichever domain you have more grip, even if it's by slightest chances, then you need to go for that particular part only, okay? Because you are already covering maths in form of basic mathematics in test two, it is, it is again, it's pretty much open for all the students as to which uh, part they would like to go for in test three, economics or advanced mathematics. Okay, economics would be uh, more or less something that you have already done your undergrad and some portions from kind of slightly from entrance point of view. Okay, and then advanced mathematics. Again, they have mentioned uh, particular topics as well. And they have given key, it will be from undergrad level. So basically, till date, before your entrance happens, whatever economics, whatever advanced math you have done or math you have done, you need to be thorough with that. In economics, micro, macro are must. Like similarly, in case of uh, advanced mathematics, because different universities and colleges have divided mathematics in two semesters or three semesters as well. So you need to wrap up all those content as well, along with the, along with the topics which you find are there uh, in the sample papers and you might not have done in your undergrad as well. Okay, so uh, now let's go to uh, the marking scheme. So uh, it's pretty much the same uh, one mark when you get it correct and uh, one by four would be deducted when it's wrong, right? So 0.25 is gone right over, over there, okay? Total marks going by the marking scheme and the number of questions is your 90 marks. That is pretty odd. So, uh, but this is what it is. Like if they are going for one marker and they have 90 questions, it's, it's supposed to be at 90 mark, okay? Now, lastly, the important dates. Uh, so the application started in the first week of March. Applications closes on 21st of April, okay? And the exam date is 6th of May. Why this slide is important? To make sure that all the dates are there in front of you. Second, as a suggestion, as a request, please and please register yourself as soon as possible without waiting for the last date of registration. The reason is very simple. There can be any glitch, last moment issues, or something or the other might happen if you kind of delay till 21st April or whatever the date is. So as a suggestion, and again, as a request, try to register as soon as possible. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your time and best of luck.